What? No, I don't think Aiden's capable of killing someone, you stupid twat. I mean, I think that's the last thing he's capable of doing. Oh, what are you going on about? Look, I know he likes to stride about like he's some sort of grime rapper or something. But I remember when that boy used to waltz about in them bright yellow crocs, like a little faggot. Oh, fuck off. Of course I love him. But I swear to God, he's a bender. Ugh. Don't be brain dead all your life. I don't care what he says. That ain't his girlfriend. I mean, have you seen him? <laughs> There's no way our agent could get her. No, she came over with him. No, I didn't leave them on their own. And even if I did, actually, what's it got to do with you? Look, I'm telling you, they're not up to anything. Trust me. When they come to mine, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't have any friends. He stays in his room wanking and playing the Xbox. The most I've ever caught him doing was trying to nick a can of Stella from the garage, which I couldn't give a fucking shit about. And you're ringing me up at stupid o'clock and asking me if he's capable of killing someone. Are you fucking mental? I must have knocked more sense out of you than I thought. Look, God knows I haven't exactly been mum of the year, but I spent some time away. In fact, I'm a better goddamn mum than my mum was to me. I didn't shed a tear when that bitch croaked. I try with my lad, you know I do. But does he ever want to do anything with me? No. Does he want to play cooking in the kitchen with you? Yeah. He's a daddy's boy. He's about as dangerous as a slug. And he ain't a gangster. And he ain't bullying anyone. And he definitely ain't going about killing people, you daft cunt. Mm. 